All right, if you guys see anything you're interested in, uh, please let us know and we'll have more information about that at the end of the video. So we're gonna go through this quite rapidly just so uh, we respect your time. Okay, so we got Railbox Boxcar. This one is custom weathered. You can see a little bit of rust on there. It looks pretty cool. And we got Erie Lackawanna, Pennsylvania, PRR Caboose. This one's a custom bots car. Really nice. You know, I like Conrail. Got two State of Maine bots cars. Lehigh Valley flat car. More Lehigh Valley stuff coming up. We got two covered hoppers, different numbers. And we also have these, and they're different numbers as well, covered hoppers. All right, we have some Pennsylvania, some PPNL, actually. Three covered hoppers. I'll have to check out the uh, the numbers on them. I think they're all different. And another PPNL hopper here. So again, these are covered hoppers, and this is just an open hopper. We have a B&O Sentinel box car. We have a PNW box car. This one has a damaged truck, so we'll have to deduct a little bit for that one. Here we have Ashley Drew and Northern, a really nice box car there, and a tank car, DuPont, and we have a seaboard system box car. And yeah, that's a really nice one. So that's it for Weaver. Victoria's being diligent, getting stuff ready for our shop. <laughs> Now it's MTH time. We have a Pennsylvania caboose. To start things off, we have a two car set, Madison passenger cars. Uh, yeah, they look really good. This stuff's in some pretty nice condition here. Here we have a snow plow uh, with a headlight on it. I know it's a little tough to see. Again, apologies. We'll try to have more time next time and get everything out to show you guys for the video. But anyways, consider it a sneak peek. Okay, we have Bot's car here, Pennsylvania, real nice. I know that'll go. This thing is heavy, die cast, Lehigh Valley hopper. Yeah, that thing is a beast. A Pennsylvania Railroad hopper here. We have Redding Two Bay here, nice car. And a PRR stock car. And finally, this nice purple box gondola. Oh, and one more thing. We have a Pennsylvania Railroad Caboose, MTH, and as you can see, it lights up. Okay, Lionel box cars. We have rail box, another rail box, and another with the same number. Union Pacific, double door, Burlington Northern, really nice, you know, I like that. NYC, another nice Conrail refrigerated car and another Conrail car as well. We have a Redding Special Edition, or Limited Edition, I should say, and we have a Double Door Pennsylvania box car with no box. And next, Covered Hoppers. Conrail, right off the bat. Two numbers of those. Nice DNRGW. Grab the two of the same Scalaire. Am I saying that right? Scalaire? I was avoiding it before. It's funny, around here we have a town called St. Clair, which actually was a big thing with the Reading Railroad. If anyone's into Reading, that's definitely worth looking up. Anyways, these DuPont cars, they're pretty cool, and I love the ADM cars. Whether it's the older logo or the newer one, they're just cool. Okay, BNSF. Really nice car there as well. And of course, can't go wrong with PRR. Okay, does anyone need any Conrail Cabooses? Because we have four in great shape. All the same number though. I don't know how that happened, but we got them. <laughs> All right, and here's a Redding Caboose as well. We have two Pennsylvania passenger cars, different numbers there. And we have, this is interesting, it's a flat car with a gondola, like a little tiny gondola on top. So that's Pennsylvania. Redding Hopper, very nice. There's a Chevron Tanker. New Haven High Cube Box Car. Dr. Pepper, it's like a flat car. I guess that's what, let's see what it, 
what they say it is. Oh, yeah, the VAT carrier. Yeah, I don't see them too often, but yeah, that's right. Those are the VAT cars. Yeah, cool. Okay, we have a shell tank car, Tootsie Roll tank car, and a little Amtrak ore car. And we have two loose cars here. We have a Bay Window Caboose, uh, P&E. Um, missing the coupler. Well, it has the coupler, but it's not attached. So, And um, it's supposed to light up. I saw it light up for a second, but I couldn't get it to do it again. So it definitely needs a little cleaning. But seems to be a pretty nice car. And finally, a Redding Hopper. All right, so this came with the deal as well. It's a Hallmark Lionel Lines on display. So we can pop this off and get a better look at it. It's really interesting. So the track, it kind of looks a little bigger than HO. I don't know if it's like scaled to American Flyer. Like if it was three row. I don't know. It's an interesting, interesting thing here. But apparently it... Um, can move on the track, but right now it's bolted into the bottom. So, interesting piece there. Definitely uh, never seen that before. And finally, we're going to dig into these Williams boxes to see what passenger cars we got. All right, the final event. We have Williams five-car scale Madison set. So, let's see what's inside. Excellent, like new condition. We have Pennsylvania. We got the green scheme. So we have a Railway Express Agency, Orange City, Red Bluff, Alexander, and finally Capitol Heights. Really nice set there. Okay, and in the final set, we have aluminum passenger cars. These are Santa Fe. So we have a Railway Express Agency, Regal Pass, Crooked Creek, Indian Falls, and Vista Valley. All right, so we got some nice cars here. Look to be also in great shape. Still got the bags and everything. So not sure if they were ever pulled out really too much or not. Okay, thanks to Victoria, we got everything tagged very quickly and efficiently. It's headed to our Duncannon location in a few days because we are totally wiped out of O-Scale. We got hit hard this week. And if it seems like we were in a hurry today, well, we certainly are. It's November and we're still not through everything from these collections. Let's just take a quick look down the steps here. Yeah, we have stuff going all the way down, three floors. That's all HO scale stuff, so we're going to be getting into that starting next week. And with that said, we're in total selling mode because we have like three more huge O scale collections that are potential clients. So let's make that happen, guys. All right, well, we'll see you next time. And of course, if you saw anything that you found interesting, well, reach out to us on our website and we'll get you a price and see if we can make a deal.